Hello everybody and welcome to La Cucina. So yesterday we made the mostaccioli, la mostaccioli morfettesi. And uh, you know, we make with vincotto. So vincotto is the um, the procedure is this. We buy grapes, we mash it or put it put it in the juicer. Now the extract of the juice of the grape, we put it in a pot. So once we put it in the pot, we have to bring it to a boil and then lower the flame a little and keep it cooking, cooking, cooking until it gets to a, it becomes like from maybe one third of what the original uh, content of the juice is. And it becomes very syrupy. Once you become very syrupy, then you can cool it off and then you put it into a jar, seal it, and it can stay there for like seven, eight months. It's not a problem. I can say one year. Depends on what you put it. Put it in a cupboard, in a dark cupboard, and stay like that. No refrigeration needed. So, I found a simple way to do that because, you know, it's a lot of time consuming. And what we do. So, um, for people like me that, you know, they're always in, in a hurry doing things in there. You know, even though I like to cook and I love to cook. But sometimes I find the way to save a little time. So, I'll show you what I have. Grape juice. It's got to be 100% grape juice. To the store, I want to buy it. It's 100% grape juice only. So, this is going to go into a pot. And I'm going to add 6 tablespoons of granulated sugar to add a little more consistency in the sweetness. And what I'm doing too is I put a cinnamon stick in it. You put a cinnamon stick, you know, it gives such a beautiful intense flavor to the vincotto. You know, it's not like the original vincotto like we make in Italy, which I will do, a, you know, uh, maybe in, in the summertime I will do a video just to show you guys how to do it, how to make it. Because if you want to do it from the grapes, it's fine. We could do that too. Um, but for now, because if you want to make my mostazzoli the way I made it yesterday, you need the vincotto, and this is the fastest way to make it. All right? So I'll bring you here, and I'll show you. In a pot. Uh, let me see if you can see better. Okay, this is good. So we open up this is a, just border and grape juice, bread of course. Okay, right there. I'm gonna add the spicy cinnamon stick and I'm putting also the sugar. The six tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna put it a little on the high side in the beginning and when it comes to a boil we're gonna lower the flame to a medium and you're gonna leave it like this. It takes well, going up and down. It takes about it takes about maybe two to three hours sometime just to go down, all the way down. But with this one, it takes less because this is already a great juice. And, you know, it's not like all the, the time to mesh and do everything else. This is done already. You just have to cook it. So a couple hours, two, two and a half hours the most. This will be very, it's going to shrink into like one third of what it is right now. And you're going to start seeing that it's going to become like a syrupy type. So I go in and turn it. So I use my uh, my wooden spoon and just melt the sugar, you know, right now. I'm just turning it around. And then let it cook, you know, let it cook. I have to just leave it until it gets to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, then, you know, you guys can see it. So once it gets to a boil, that's when we have to put the flame to a medium. Medium, a little, maybe even a little lower. 
and keep it cooking. And it cooks nice and easy. And it will be still boiling. You're gonna see the froth all around it, all around the, uh, the edge of the pot. And you're gonna see like the way it's gonna be uh, like turning like on a syrupy size. And what do you do guys? Very simple. Uh, every once in a while I come in and turn it. Uh, and uh, the, the uh, cinnamon stick, once it's boiled and you keep it for like an hour in there, you can take that out if you like and take it out. Yeah, I left it, I left it for two hours last week when I made it. So, you know, it depends. How do you like it? I love the, 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 the way the cinnamon infusion with, with the grape juice does. It gives you such a beautiful, intense flavor. Like yesterday, my wife tasted it the first time, and, and she, she never had the mustard soil in her life, and she loved it. So you see the way now it's boiling. So we're gonna reduce the flame to medium, and let it cook. A beautiful spicy cinnamon stick. And now it's going to be cooking until it will reduce itself of one third of what it is. And you will see that once you taste it, you're going to say, oh my good, this is, this is delicious vincotta. So this is my cheating way of making vincotta, but it works and it's delicious. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so you guys can see, look, the way this is becoming now, look, it's like almost like a syrupy type. It stays on the spoon, that means it doesn't go down, see? It's not, so once, you, once it cools off, it becomes even more syrupy. So this came down to like one third of his original state liquid. And that's it. So, so this is the way the vincotto from the grape juice is made. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this off and let it cool off completely. So, so when it cools off completely, just jar, put it in the jar, let it cool off really well. And then you put on the jar. Look, after I turned it off, you can see, see the, the way the, uh, the nice and dark. And actually what I did is I put two more tablespoons of sugar. So I had the, the amount of eight tablespoons of sugar in it. So it's nice, it's sweet, and it's, it tastes like a, a really nice sweet uh, wine cooked cooked wine. That's what it tastes like. It's good. Um, so guys, this is the alternative to the regular vin cotto that we make in Italy. Um, in the future, maybe in the summer, I'll do it. You know, I wanted to do this for you guys because that's how I made the last week so I could make my, uh, my uh, mostaccioli. So I like this. It's a different, it's an alternative, but it tastes really good. It's delicious and it'd be fine for you guys. And um, you can put it in the jar once it gets cool off, put it in the jar, seal it, put it in the cupboard, in the dark cupboard, it's fine. Doesn't need refrigerator, it can stay there almost a year. So um, I'm going to add it to the one that I made last week, and that's it when it's cool. So guys, with that, now you have the recipe for the most for the vin cotto, and also you have the recipe of the mostaccioli. And now I want to see pictures. I want to see you guys making it. And listen, it's a beautiful thing. You know what? We have to have fun in the kitchen. That's the most important. Have fun, enjoy, try everything. Uh, you know what? It's nice when you make a little meal or do some cookies or cake or anything. And then you present it to your loved ones. And they say, wow, you made this? Yes, I did. So it feels good. It feels good. It's a good satisfaction, you know, since I was a kid.
like I said, a little glass of wine on the side when you cook with a little cheese. But, you know, it makes the day go by fast. And also, it makes me happy. And I hope I make you happy showing you this little traditions that we have in my hometown in Mofetta. I'm going to try my best to always put at least once or twice a week videos of a recipe that they will pass on to me to, from my grandmother, from my mother, mostly my mother. This is a traditional recipe from our grandparents and mother and fathers that we would like to pass on to our children and, and everybody else too. So guys, cook, have fun, and live a beautiful life. I'll see you next time. Ciao a tutti.